What it do, baby? It's Moon Kid Max back with another episode of Moon Kid Max's reviews and reactions. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, y'all. So today, I just want to talk about the Jonathan Major sentencing and how he avoided jail time, but he still has to pay like way more than the offense actually is because it's just a misdemeanor. They're treating it like it's like something way bigger. He, the charges that were actually like domestic violence, he got acquitted of. So like, they're charging him like he got charged with domestic violence when he did it. So yeah, we're gonna get into this though. Let's talk about it. So like, I haven't made any Jonathan Majors video just because when the trial was really, really going on, I wasn't really doing my YouTube channel like that, but I definitely had thoughts on it. I really just think that we as men, especially black men, can look at this situation as like, we need to be careful and mindful of our reactions with women because essentially this brother got charged for defending himself too aggressively i'm gonna say that again defending himself too aggressively that's essentially what he's got in charge with because the driver in the car the only witness attests that she was the aggressor and the situation we have been back and forth all over the internet we already know but to me what it seems it comes down to is she took his phone and he was trying to get it back and in the midst of this like kerfuffle that she she got her hand injured or whatever the case is but you know if his lawyers his lawyers are trash by the way if his lawyers have maybe led with the fact that you know what he did injure her but she took his property and in the midst of him retrieving his property which is allowed in new york legally that she got injured like you're allowed to use force to re retrieve an item uh, that's yours it's your property it's your item it's your like whatever professor black truth we're just gonna get into this first clip that i have for y'all if y'all look him up he's a dope channel pro black channel black media all that good shit you know i'm with my my people y'all you know what i'm saying so shout out to professor black truth we're gonna get the report from him let's go in what the white media has tried to treat like the trial of the century, Jonathan Majors has finally been sentenced for a crime he didn't commit. The judge said that he has to complete a 52-week in-person batterer's intervention program in Los Angeles, even though this alleged crime took place in New York. And to boot, even the prosecution had to admit that he is, at least on paper, a first-time offender now, and that he shouldn't get jail time. What he should have gotten was probation and been done with it, but we all know this is about lynching black people by proxy, and white power never gets tired of that one. It's a guilty pleasure for them that never gets old. So, you know, earlier I said that we as men, especially black men, have to be mindful of our interactions with women these next clips right here will like really explain why especially black men because they're clearly throwing the book at jonathan majors and trying to make an example out of him so yeah let's get into these next clips let's go reasons now keep in mind this all went down in the same new york where the da's decided that amy cooper who actually did commit a crime false police report against a black man in central park they decided well we're not going to prosecute her Mia Ponsetto attacked a black child, an underage child, and Alvin Bragg decided he wasn't going to do anything about that either. And yet for Jonathan Majors, who was convicted back in December, and we all saw the video, he was running literally for several city blocks to get away from the woman who he's accused of attacking. He ran from her block after block after block after block now tell me something at what point does she become the aggressor because she pursued him for block after block after block after block and then she claimed well she was terrified of him she was scared of him she was scared of what he might do to her yeah that's why she chased him halfway across the city on foot she was so eager to pursue jonathan major she ran into traffic nearly gets herself hit by an suv she almost gets killed because she is so single-mindedly determined that she's going to pursue this man because she was scared of him. It's ridiculous, but everyone knows you can easily weaponize whiteness. So if you accuse a black person of anything, it doesn't matter if you're the one who. Now, basically, the prosecutors got what they wanted in this case, because normally when you have someone with a first time offense, someone that has no history of this, at least convictions, 
in the past, this is usually something that is maybe a one week program and then it's done, right? But he got a full year. This is something that's slightly more than usual because normally you're talking about maybe a one week program and maybe some community service where he can pay a fine. So it's really interesting that the judge gave him a year of this in-person, in-person domestic violence counseling. So it's almost like the judge was maybe not happy that he ended up getting found not guilty on those other more serious charges. And this is kind of a way to punish him even though he wasn't convicted of that. So yeah, this brother already lost so much in his career. It's like now they want to throw the book at him and this sentence is way overhanded. Like they're doing way too much. Like he said, a normal civilian would have been like, a, did like a week class and then it's like over. Cause like in reality, the charge is so small. I've seen people that are saying like he should do jail time or whatever, blah, blah, blah. He's getting special treatment because he's a celebrity. And I'm like, they're clearly ignorant because the charges that he has are so minuscule that a normal civilian, it would just be like a slap on the wrist. And the only reason this guy's so much media and coverage is because of who he was and like the breakfast club sound i'm gonna get into i'm show you all that clip the race dynamics is so like crystal clear i really hope that jonathan majors can recover shout out to megan good for holding him down when it comes to all the chatter and yapping that people have had about why is she with him and this and that and the third and uh yeah shout out to her for still holding that brother down i didn't know who jonathan majors was until i saw loki and like i was like who is this nigga and loki yo this nigga is amazing i was like yo like that i was and then i went back and i watched lovecraft country and that solidified my like fandom for jonathan majors like i really want to see the brother win you know what i'm saying i think he's a phenomenal actor i think that he got it caught into a toxic relationship where they were both toxic on both ends whatever happened in their relationship i don't really care because it's not my business it's nobody's business nobody want to be so virtue signaling and act so holier than thou like they have never been toxic in their own relationships before so that's why i'm like i'm not guy i can't judge nobody and people have to grow without the world ridiculing them like these everyone should be able to be given a chance to grow without being ridiculed by the world you know what i mean so if he was toxic in like his past relationships that's on him and his human being like it's human nature so like who is anybody to judge you know what i mean so yeah that was just my quick little rant about jonathan majors if you dig this video make sure you like subscribe drop a comment let me know what you think about the situation what you think of the citizen i'm glad he avoided jail time but like he should have never been in the situation in the first place i can't believe we even got to this citizen so yeah I'm going to end the video with um, the Breakfast Club kind of just saying their thoughts and kind of defending Jonathan Majors, basically saying the media should be ashamed of themselves. You know that there's some race dynamics at play. So, yeah, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Shout out to the Breakfast Club. Peace and much love, y'all. His ex. Yeah, I didn't even know he had got probation. I just thought he had to go attend some classes. No, no, no. Yep, that came with probation. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. um, and if he at any time violates his probation he could be forced to spend up to a year in jail you know, it's so i mean you look at all of the stuff that uh you know jonathan majors lost professionally mm -hmm. right you're like damn he lost all of that for a misdemeanor yep and yeah. then now you get a, a a year of classes yeah probation and what else you said uh and he has to uh, two hundred fifty dollar fine, and mm -hmm. he has to continue with his mental health therapy, which he's been in for yeah. months now. For, for a misdemeanor, yeah, misdemeanor, and evidence that showed that he running from the white. You girl. saw it running it's from. It, that's what I was like, going to say. You saw yeah. him yeah. running away from this white woman. It was he. Mm -hmm. she, it was he. What she said and what he said. There yep. was no witnesses. Nobody seen it. They seen her in the club after that. You seen him running away, mm -hmm. and he still got convicted. Still got convicted. That's scary. The yeah. media should be ashamed of itself in a lot of ways. Absolutely. Uh, but to act like there's not a race dynamic here is insane. Mm -hmm. <laughs> of course. <laughs> A black man, of course. big black man, yep. little white woman. He's running away from her on the video. Yep, yep. And they made it seem like it was like a murder that happened. Yeah. And it ended up being a misdemeanor. And right. even the driver attested. Like, he, uh, you know, he said that Grace was the aggressor when he was like trying to tell her, look, come on, let's just get out the car. 
He was, he was, we saw she that, was the aggressor. But, there, and we saw but, that. but then there's a video. You see yeah. the video of him putting her yeah, back in the car crazy. and running away, yeah. Yeah. which, by the way, you should do. In that situation, absolutely. <laughs> if, you, if you are any man, really, but if you're a black man and it's a situation like that with a white woman, I would encourage the same thing: take off running in the opposite direction, absolutely, and hope absolutely. somebody's recording the whole thing. But you're still going to end up losing a whole bunch of stuff and getting charged with a goddamn misdemeanor. But a full order of protection will remain in place for his ex-girlfriend, Drace, uh, Grace Jabari, which he probably didn't plan to go back around to anyway, so whatever. And Majors did not even make a statement in court yesterday. But and when she made a statement, he didn't even look up at her. She was so sad. <laughs> Anyway, so that was that. <laughs> anyway.